Good morning. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. I had a pretty good week, and that's what I'm here to talk to you all about. Week number two of my tracking. How did it go? How do I feel? And what did the scale have to say by the end of this week? And we're going to find all of that out in this video. Plus, I'm going to talk to you all about a mistake that I made, but there is some good news from the mistake. So stay tuned for that. All right, I want to talk to you about something real fast before we get into everything. And while I do so, I'm going to show y'all how I'm making my cup of coffee in the morning, uh, my iodine intake, and I, what you're seeing here in that video is uh, five drops of iodine with some salt from the raw element packet. And I do this twice a day, so I'm taking a total of 10 drops of iodine. And I'm not affiliated or I, get, I don't get any kind of kickback for, you know, talking about element or showing element on the video. It's just that, as a matter of fact, this is what I'm putting in my coffee. All right, so now y'all can see that. Uh, but what I want to talk to you about real fast is YouTube. And, you know, I know I'm not the only channel who has this problem. Sometimes uh, someone will leave a comment in the section below and I can't respond to it because I can't see it. It's like it, it's just glitched or bugged out there. I don't know what it is. I love it when people comment. I love to respond to them. So if you ever leave a comment and you don't get a response from me, it's because I can't see it. And now usually when that happens, I still get the, the notification will let me know who sent the, the comment. So I at least know who it was. In this case, it happened in the last video. I, I never saw the notification itself. So I don't even know who it was who left the comment. So if you're the one who left the comment and didn't get a response from me, it's not because I ignored you. Um, I just can't see it on the video to respond. And so that just weighed, weighed on me a little bit. It's my personality. I don't like for people to think that I'm ignoring them in any way, even in real life. Um, it makes me feel bad. So if you ever leave a comment and don't get a response from me, that's what's going on. And feel free to go ahead and comment again, especially if it's like a question that you're curious about or anything like that, because it's just that your comment got glitched some for some reason. I don't know what causes it. I don't know if there's anything I can do to fix it. Um, but just I want to put that out there so you, that you would know. Let's talk about the mistake that I made. But there's some good news in it as well. Look, I've been trying to find a way to get some organ meat in my life. It's not that I think I might need it, but I have an understanding that's very nutritional. So I'm interested in the, the nutritional part of it. But I cannot stand the taste of it, guys. Um, a couple of years ago, Chris and I tried the carnivore crisp liver ones. And that was a definite no. Uh, you know, <laughs> I was keto when I tried that. And I fell for the whole, if you dip it in guacamole, it'll mess the taste. So I thought we'd try it. I gave some to Chris. And just so you know, I've never seen Chris turn his nose up. But on this one, when he took a bite, now he didn't even make a face. He just took a bite and calmly put it back down on his plate and said, I'm not interested. My heart sank when he did, did, uh, did that. Because in, in the years that I've been married to him, I've never once seen him turn his nose up. And he did at that. Well, I had to be a big girl and try my piece. So I took a bite of it. And as soon as it got in my mouth, the taste of liver just overtook everything. And I just spit it out. That was a definitely a, a no-go for us on that. So, um, but uh, I did see a product called Pluck. And uh, I'm going to show it here. Hopefully the camera and the lighting, you can see it. I ordered the zesty garlic one because... Um, I'm apprehensive about it. You know, I just know that I'm going to taste the organ meat. Pluck is, uh, let me see what it says so I don't misquote it. It's an organ meat blend. Um, it has some just the garlic in it, which is why I ordered it. Now, this is where my mistake came in, guys. This is a do as I say and not as I do moment, right? Is this garlic and meat? Perfect. I'll take it. And so it came in and it's got spleen and heart, liver and kidneys, I believe, as the organ meats in here. I'm like, great, a wonderful medley. Hopefully I don't taste it. <laughs> and then I got to look at the, at the ingredients on the back and I was like, oh no, because I didn't look at the ingredients. I just assumed, just said zesty garlic. That was the only ingredient other than the organ meats in there. My mistake. Now, the it's got a really small print on the packaging. Um, it's got carrots and lemon peel. Um, it's got thyme and basil in it. Um, margarine leaf. 
and some onion uh, along with the garlic and some Redmond sea, uh, Redmond sea salt. So that's a good thing. Um, guys, I am trying to be more strictish on carnivore. So this is not something I want to continue to have, but I did go ahead and taste it this week because let me tell you something. One serving of this is only a fourth of a teaspoon. So all those ingredients is very minuscule. And um, since I'm being more strict, I don't want to continue eating this. Um, but anyways, let me just tell you all something. In the air fryer, it smelled really amazing cooking in my hamburger patty. I couldn't believe it, how good it smelled to me. But it still made me scared to eat it because I just know that it's fooling me. The taste is going to be there and I'm just going to spit my hamburger meat back out. Well, that was not what happened. I took a bite of the hamburger meat and all it tasted like was a, a very seasoned hamburger patty. Okay, it tasted pretty good. And if I hadn't known that I put this in there, I would have never knew that there was organ meat in my hamburger patty. That's amazing, guys. For me, that is amazing. And so it's got me excited. I think this is a way I can get my organ meat in. Now, I have went back to, to look at Pluck, and they do have a, a black packaging that is nothing but organ meat and nothing else added to it. I will have to try that. Chris can eat this packet because he's more keto than carnivore anyways. He still enjoys some vegetables. So I don't have to worry about wasting my money on this. There is 100 servings in this packet costing me $30. But one serving is a fourth teaspoon. So if you're eating one, eating a serving once a week, which I believe is what Dr. Barry recommends, is just once a week, get a serving of organs. Um, this should last, Chris, somewhere around a year. Now, I'm not a math wizard, so if I'm off on my math there, forgive me. But it should last a pretty good time, right? Um, but if you're keto, this may be, and you're looking for some organ meat, this may be the perfect way for you to get some. And if you're carnivore, there is, of course, that black packaging. Um, without anything else but the organ meat, or if you're a carnivore that doesn't mind occasional vegetables in their life. All right, I was excited about that, and if you are wanting some organ meat, this may be the ticket. By the way, I'm not affiliated. I don't get any kind of kickback for talking about plug or anything like that. I was just super excited. I actually truly did enjoy this product, so I'm happy for it. So for the sake of trying to keep my video a little shorter than what it was last week, I decided I would just put together some images of where um, I, I weighed some meat, some images of the food I ate, uh, some screenshots of my fitness pal app and what it looked like during the week. Uh, so you can just kind of get a, a, an idea. Um, I didn't always perfectly hit 80-20, uh, but when I didn't, it was still within the range. Having said that, I did discover that um, when I just put in just my ground beef, because uh, I get the 7327 ground beef, according to my Fitness Pal app, and now this is based off raw meat, it's perfectly 80-20 in the ratio uh, because there's, there's 30 grams of fat and 17 grams of protein per serving. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Now, I do pour some of the fat back onto my meat after I cook it, but I have no way of knowing um, how much I'm putting back on. And there's no way that's perfectly back on to where it's 80, 20 after it's cooked, but I'm sure it's probably in the ballpark. And that brings me back to a conversation I had with um, uh, a viewer of mine a couple of weeks ago. And if I mispronounce your name, I apologize. Uh, Cordelia, she had suggested, uh, you know, maybe I should draw the line diet. Should, that, you know, they had done the line diet and saw some great results as well. And I, I'll, I'll tell you this, I've always been interested in doing that because I, I love the ground beef. I have no problem eating red meat at all and or ruminant meat. And so my thing is, the reason why I never did is because I, I still drink coffee. And so, um, and my viewpoint on the line diet is, is you do a line when you really need to get super, super strict. And if I'm going to be super, super strict, then I, I don't need to be doing the coffee with it. And I'm not ready to give up my coffee. Call it what it is. Addiction. It is that. But I'm not ready to give it up fully. However, there's nothing wrong with me <clears throat> doing a lime-ish type diet where I, I eat just the meat, right? And, and the salt and the water. Or, well, I'll have coffee, but just the meat and the salt. And so I thought, I finally got through the, the eggs I stocked up on. And so I thought now would be a good time. So going into week three of tracking, I'm going to uh, see how I feel on it and, and see how I do. Um, 
I do use eggs as a way to keep my, my grocery budget um, a little cheaper. So I don't know how long I will stick to it, even if I do enjoy it. But um, I did find out that this week, the meals that I had, the full pound of ground beef with just a few eggs, I felt a lot more full than I did with the, 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 the days that I leaned more on eggs, which I knew that already. But I, again, before tracking, I, I thought I was eating a pound when I wasn't. <laughs> And I had a hard time eating all that. That was a lot to eat for me. So I felt pretty good. Now, for the people who are in the camp of, well, you know, diet is important, but you also need to exercise to lose weight. So Susan, if you're getting up and moving, you should be losing weight. Well, let me show you all just a few clips of what my days look like. Here's a day of 20,000 steps. Here's a day of 30,000 steps. Which, by the way, as you can see how many miles that is equivalent to my step stride of, you know, over 12 miles. And on top of that, I'm doing push-ups, I'm doing leg exercises, I'm doing upper body strength training. So I am moving. It's not that I'm just sitting on the couch waiting for weight to fall off. So I'm definitely getting my exercise in as well, which also testifies to the way I'm feeling eating all this. Look, I'm feeling pretty good. If I had the energy to walk 12 miles and do all this other stuff, I'm feeling pretty good, right? Um, so I guess now would be the time to look at the scale and what the scale have to say to me this morning. Now, last Monday morning, I report, reported in the scale said I was 180.6. This morning it is 178.9. So, uh, you might say, oh, well, that's, that's two pounds. Well, no, um, last week was that special week for me and I'll leave it at that. That was likely just two pounds of water weight bloating gone maybe you know um i can still say this no weight gain even after eating a whole lot more than what i, I apparently was eating before all of this so i'm really still mind blown on that so if you was to ask me well doesn't this calories matter can i see both sides of it i, I don't know guys <laughs> i can see both sides though of the, of the of the argument um i think if anything it's very informational and so, uh, you know, I feel good though. And if I had messed up my metabolism by under eating unknowingly, then it may take more than two weeks to get the skull moving. Um, I just said a couple of weeks because I don't know how long to expect, but where am I going to go even if this isn't working? What am I going to change? What am I going to do? I'm not going back to eating crap just because I'm not losing weight anymore. My main goal is to keep my health in check, and that's that's you know where I'm at. So I'm still going to eat this way, whether I'm losing it or not. So what's the harm in, in messing around and playing around and trying to get the, the macros down to where I start losing again? I've got nothing else to do in terms of you know my dietary uh, lifestyle. So I do want to change my macros to go to more 7525 because I am concerned, like I said, about my protein intake. Look, my scale shows me bone mass, muscle mass. And in time, I've seen where my muscle mass is just slightly going down. It's not like a huge drop, but it is slowly going down. Now, I understand that as I get older, my muscle mass is going to decline. I don't know if that's natural decline, um, or if we're able to stop it all together by proper nutrition. Anyways, my point being is I want to not see that decline. <laughs> so I want to move to a more 25-25-ish um, ratio and bring my protein up because I would like to see if I can't get that muscle mass moving in the upper direction. Okay, so definitely, uh, so with that being said, I don't know how much I can trust my skull to be accurate. I have no clue the science behind it, how it measures muscle to fat, you know, what it is on the skull through my feet, just standing on it. I have no clue. So I don't know how much I can actually trust it to be accurate. However, if I, if I see a slow decline in muscle mass, then it stands to reason that, you know, all this exercise that I'm doing well, if it's if a, if a muscle mass is slowly going down, I can't claim that I'm building muscle either, can I? So my, my stall is not because I'm building muscle, right? Which is really depressing. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're, we're, I'm going to get this worked out because, like I said, I've got nowhere else to go. I feel good, you know. So I'm not I'm not discouraged in the way where I feel defeated, you know. I'm going to keep my head up 
we're going to keep going. And maybe next week I'll be able to report that I'm less than, you know, under 178 because 178 is my lowest I I've been. So I'm there. Let's get going. And then next week, hopefully I'll have some better news in that way. Well, my friends, thank you for watching. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.